All right, here is a little nature adventure from Seminole, Florida, where Casey and I are currently living. I came across these little guys one day while I was work camping, and the tree, as you can see, is obviously not doing so great, so it was supposed to be removed, and that was part of my work camping job for that day. And I came across all these little guys. These are lubber, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but lubber grasshoppers. And this was probably about 15 RVs away from ours, so right down the street from us. I don't have anything in the shop for reference, but I would say they were each about three quarters of an inch long. So a couple weeks later, on the fence right on our unit, like where our RV is parked, this guy's hanging out on the fence. Now this is not the only one, this just happens to be the one that I got a video of that particular day. And you can see when I put my hand next to it that we're looking at a little bit of a larger size grasshopper now, so probably about two inches. All right, and now about three weeks after the one I just got a video of was seen, now here is a full a grown adult. He, she, it is about three inches big now. And when I looked them up online to see what they're all about, it turns out that they are toxic. So if um, they have one predator that's some sort of bird, but no one else can really eat them because of the toxicity, and they can actually spray you with it, apparently, um, if you pick them up or touch them. So I'm lucky I didn't get sprayed with toxic grasshopper spray. And now on to our wasps. So our little RV plot comes with a shed on it. We don't particularly want the shed, but I was cleaning the shed out one day and these guys live in it, so I watched them for a couple of minutes. So that day I was in there, there were just two. Now their little home has like doubled in size and there's a couple of them now, maybe five or six. And it is also baby lizard season. These little guys are so cute. And they are all over the RV park. Next up, another bug. I don't know what it is. I didn't even bother to try to look it up. Casey wanted me to get a chance to see it, so he took these videos of it so I could see it too. And it was right on our patio. Sea slug. Have you ever seen a sea slug before? I had not, so when I first saw this, I did not know whether it was some sort of pod from a plant, a flower, I had no idea what it was. I'm still not quite sure if it was alive or not, but um, we have since seen them more than once and we have actually seen them alive in the water. So like octopus and other creatures that spit out fluids to camouflage themselves, these creatures have this purple liquid that comes out of them, I guess to protect themselves or distract or camouflage, and it's pretty cool. but appears to be alive. It's, it's making movements. I don't know whether it's um, supposed to be in the water or not, but I'm assuming it's going to be better off in the water than on the beach. And then this little guy was just hanging out at the place where Casey was fishing the other day, so I got to check him out just doing his sea slug thing swimming in the water. So on the same trip, fishing trip where I took the video of the sea slug, I heard these crazy strange sounds coming from in this mangrove area and I followed it in and this is the bird that was making all the sounds. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the sounds on the video. And 
then within a couple feet of this bird down in the water, I came across this skull. I wonder if that was from its friend. And last but not least, this afternoon was filled with snakes. Before catching this one on video, I had had one of the dogs outside on the leash in the back when she kind of jumped up and ran towards the fence after something. And after looking closely, I realized that it was a snake that was maybe two or three feet long, so I brought her in the house because, you know, I don't want her to try to eat a snake. And a couple minutes after bringing her in the house, I had to go out to the van to get something. And um, this is right next to our van door. I see this snake's head popped up out of the hedge. And after a couple minutes of checking it out in the hedges, it slithered down and went over across between ours and the neighbor's RV unit. And then it went up this tree. Once I found it in the tree, I actually discovered that there was more than one snake, so there was already another one up in the tree. And I'm not kind of, not quite sure what kind of like a snake parade or party was going on that day, but our kitchen window looks out the back at the same fence that they are going across. And as I was washing dishes and doing stuff, I actually saw snakes slithering past several times during the course of the day. So they were having a little event or migrating or doing something that day. Um, I've seen the black snakes around the RV park and I've actually seen them in the backyard even. But today, for whatever the reason, there were many more of them than normal. And um, well, it was good to get to see them. All right, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed our critters and hopefully we'll have some adventures and some more RV fix-ups in the near future to share with you.